Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortnite instructor here in Tempe, Arizona, and I record these uh, videos for the students who have taken my class. And uh, yeah, we've just been doing a handful in this playlist, um, moving on to a topology that's somewhat functional so we can try out some scenarios, and we're like inching our way closer. All right, so I know it seems like a, a long process here, and I apologize. I just don't want to do any YouTube magic and actually show you guys how how it's done so um, in the last video was was pretty straightforward and all that was was creating the loopback interfaces we're not going to use those until a little bit down the road okay and I, I keep on getting closer and closer to making our VPNs right to our two branch offices but before we do that we need to make a uh, an internet access SD-WAN rule because the last thing we want to do is throw the VPN tunnels within the SD-WAN interface and if there's that implicit deny at the bottom not implicit deny listen to me implicit load balancing at the bottom the last thing we want is traffic destined towards the branch offices to break out to the internet we don't we don't want that so um, we are going to create a performance SLA finally we already did the QoS we're simply going to create an SLA that just simply says for a connection to be qualified to be forwarded right um, it needs to meet a certain amount of criteria a, a certain health check right um, and then after that we're gonna just make a a load balancing rule for it to take the one that that has the least latency okay so um, that way when we do add our VPN tunnels to it um, it won't it won't try to include internet traffic until we actually write a, a a VPN rule so it will make a lot more sense down the road um, let's go ahead and do it now for simplicity I did do a little bit of cheating here so uh, let me show you what I did so here we go all right so on the two branch offices I did uh, let's see here I did put HTTPS access on on the WAN interfaces okay in real life you probably wouldn't do that right we don't want our our management side of the FortiGates to be publicly facing but just for this demo I wanted to be able to access everything from from one PC all right so that way I'm not jumping back and forth between machines and also I went ahead and installed an actual web browser on the domain controller which we usually want to do and I put some shortcuts here so um, that's the only quote-unquote YouTube magic that I did but let's go ahead and start with our main office all right and uh, here we go and let's go over to our SD-WAN so network SD-WAN, we should have our four interfaces, okay, good times, looks like they're all working, and if we go to the rules here, I mean, we do have that one for the Forta Manager, where it's always going out port one, but everything else is going to be doing this load balancing, and this is what I meant by, we don't want to throw the VPN tunnels in here, and it acting as a catch-all you know, load balance the internet traffic. So we're going to essentially create that identical rule, right? Except for do it for quality and just have our WAN facing interfaces. So let's go to performance SLA and we had our health checks and here's that internet QoS that I was doing. Okay. So I'm going to double click that. And if you notice here, we don't have any target SLAs. Now SLAs are simply saying in order to participate, you have to meet certain thresholds all right so um, the older versions of the 40 OS used to have a handful of these programmed in there they took them out so I don't know if they like didn't want to maintain those SLAs but usually you know in order to get a support for some kind of product like uh, if it's a VoIP solution or if it's something that is uh, very sensitive to packet loss or latency or jitter you have to guarantee a certain amount of uh, performance before they will support it right that's where we can kick these in and they'll not be qualified if you know it doesn't meet that criteria so um, anyways so let's go ahead and move forward here and remember guys I'm in a test environment here so I'm gonna have higher latencies higher jitter anyways all right I have no idea why I'm experiencing a 2% packet loss here other than you know maybe my poor GNS3 can't can uh, can hold up or I don't know if that's averages since it's rebooted that's new by the way 
um, six, two, three is newer for me. So, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put these rather high. All right. And like I said, um, usually we'd have different targets for different solutions, right? One for like, you know, our, our streaming, one for our bulk transport, some for like general web, whatever. And we might do more, we might do more of that later on, but I'm just going to do some pretty high values here just so we have something there to point it to. All right, let's go ahead and do our, do our rule. So I'm going to go ahead and now make a new rule. Okay, here we go. Create new, and I'm just going to call this SD WAN, um, um, general, I don't know, internet or something like that. I didn't want it too long, but we're going to say, hey, you know what? We don't care where it's coming from. We don't care where it's going. All right. Just make sure that you're you're taking the one that has the best quality. Which interfaces? Just our WAN interfaces. See how it's ignoring the VPN tunnels? All right. And I want you to use our internet QoS. Look at that. We don't even need to do a, an SLA. It'll just take the one with the most latency. Well, that's cool. Here we go. We'll hit OK. Now, if we did, though, if we did want the one that had the lowest cost, see how we can select that QoS, all right? And that number one was the thresholds that we picked, all right? See how the criteria is there? But I forgot that you can now just pick best quality, which is kind of nice. In other words, it just takes the best one no matter what. So. We'll hit OK. And it is a top-down rule, guys. So make sure that the more specific stuff stays at top and the more generalized stays at the bottom. So once again, when we start throwing our VPN tunnels in here down the road, it won't be included in this bottom rule right here because we'll sandwich it in between these two rules right here. OK, so uh, let's go ahead and complete it for the other two sites. So I'm going to head over to New York City. Wouldn't that be easy if it was? that easy in real life. Here we go. All right. When we have our VPN tunnels, it will be. So, all right. So here we go. And uh, let's go to our network. Let's go to our interfaces. Now we did write a rule for our, um, or for our SD-WAN here. I'm just going to double click these bad boys real quickly. All right. Because I cannot remember if I put on Forta Manager access because if one of those go down, I want it to still be able to reach out to the Forta Manager. So uh, I'm going to do a config system interface, do a show here, and yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like port two needs to have that FGFM access on it. So uh, let me just edit that real quick. All right, set allow access because the last thing we want is our Forta Manager to go down. So there we go. And we'll just do that. Okay. So not too bad. And then let's go ahead and do our performance SLA. Now we did this before. I have no idea why I'm experiencing that packet loss. And you know what? I'm going to skip the SLA targets for right now. So, uh, but like I said, usually the SLA targets are just if we need a certain level of quality for like a product. So we can write our SD-WAN rules. So here we are. And by the way, for those that have like a Forta manager, a lot of this stuff is, is easier to deploy. Maybe I'll do some videos on that later. So uh, general internet. Here we go. We don't care where it's coming from. We don't care where it's going. Just pick the best quality for what? Our two WAN interfaces. Okay. Measuring our QoS. All right. One more to go. And let's head over to Texas and do the same. You know, I should really change these colors too. I just realized that. What color should we make Texas, guys? Uh, let's see here. Settings. Sorry, this is my. I like have a squirrel moment for every single video I do. Here we go. Uh, oh. Uh, neutrinos, the head office. Eh, Mariner works. All right, sure. It looks it looks American, like Texas. Okay, so let's go over to 
let's go over here and let's set that uh, port manager access again. So config system interface edits ports two. We'll do a show. And yeah, I don't have port manager access, and I want to not to lose that, so I can get my backup configs if I need them. All right. There we go. FGFM access, and that's not a command that you can type over and over again. You have to kind of string them all along, and you can tab complete those too. So there we go. And let's go ahead and write our SD-WAN rule. And I'm going to skip drilling down in there and just jump right to the rules. So see how I have nothing in there? So we'll just say SD-WAN, general internet. Don't care where it's coming from. I don't care where it's going. Just pick the best quality, right, from our two WAN interfaces. Picturing our QoS. <laughs> Good thing I named all these the same. Anyways, I'd be fired if I if I had a real job. All right, so here we go. There we go. And believe it or not, guys, uh, that should still give us access to the internet. Like I said, it really comes into play when, um, what you call it, when we have our. Uh, when we have our uh, VPN tunnels in the mix. I'm just hopping over to the different sites just to always verify. Don't make assumptions, right guys? So as you can see, it's it's coming along. So nice. And the very last thing I'm gonna check is make sure that I didn't lose my Fortin Manager access. Now I shouldn't have, but I'm just saying, just making sure everything's there and everything's working and then we'll, then we'll end this video. So in the next one, we're gonna slowly, and I say slowly because you know, I don't want to try to do too much in one sitting. Um, start adding our VPN tunnels with the SD WAN, and then after that, once we got our VPN tunnels up, we should be able to um, do our uh, our IBGP. So we can do some dynamic routing. So that's our goal. Then after that, we'll have some videos on uh, SSL VPNs. Okay, yay! All right, everything still looks good. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're headed. So, all right, guys. So I know that was another quick one. I'll try to plow out a couple more this week. Um, anyways, thanks for your patience. And uh, we're, we're coming along. So, okay. See you guys in a little bit.